ohana or family is an important theme here in Hawaii. And the Honolulu Zoo is celebrating as our lemur ohana grows just a little bit larger. I'm Charles Lee and you're watching Zuni LA. Six ring-tailed lemurs make their home at the Honolulu Zoo. And they're split into two family groups. Roscoe and his children are long-time residents, having been donated by a previous owner who realized that primates do not make good pets. These little guys are territorial with a pension for stink wars. That's when they rub their tails all up in their scent glands and use them to fling some stink at their rivals. Fortunately, this pond helps Roscoe and his family keep peace with our newest arrivals. Finn and Remy, as they celebrate the birth of Clark, their firstborn child. Like any mom, Remy is crazy protective over their little bundle of joy. And not even Daddy Finn is safe if he puts a toe out of line. Just as well, because these animals are matriarchal, which means mom calls the shots. A female lemur can give birth every year, but like any responsible family, the Honolulu Zoo is going to take things slow, so as not to overpopulate our lemur islands. Ironically, it's the overpopulation of a different species that is threatening these animals in the wild. On their native island of Madagascar, lemurs are being driven to extinction by overhunting and habitat loss, and this is caused by a growing human population. In the last 10 years, ring-tailed lemur populations have dropped 95%, and today there are more of these animals in zoos than there are left in the wild. You can make a difference for them by making sure that all of your wood products are sustainably certified by the Forest Stewardship Council. And of course, please live within your means, taking only what you need and giving back when you can. This way, you can ensure that your ohana will always be able to share our planet with theirs. I'm Charles Lee and mahalo for watching Zuni LA!